a little bit and kind of explain that a little bit better. Okay, Jeff, you want to come on up? Jeff Scrocky is one of our instructors. Um, the Kempo system, if somebody punches in at you and we, we block, you know, the Kempo system is done at this distance, okay? The five-fist system, and we kind of start with that because very few people, I mean, even advanced martial artists would have a hard time coming in and working at this distance, okay? And that, that's the difference between the Shaolin five-fist system Okay, and the Kempo system. Again, the Kempo system is at a distance, a little bit of a distance, which is good, which is good. I mean, it's still a very effective system, but Jeff's got a left hand. Go ahead, Jeff. Okay, so when, when you give them, when you give them any distance between you and your opponent, okay, what happens at that point is that it gives them the ability to hit you back. The five-fist system, as you advance, at, a, at, at higher levels, you're able to do the same technique, block, hit, and then be in here, okay, and, and be able to defend yourself at, th at that distance, okay, which means that it, it, does, it, gives, it, it lessens the ability for somebody to hit me from here is easy, but to attack me from here is very, very hard. We become very effective at that distance. Plus, we don't let them ground. And what do I mean by grounding? Grounding is where Jeff's feet is. He's grounded. He's got his weight sunk. But when we move them, we keep moving them so that we don't let them ground because once they can ground, once they can plant themselves, then they have the ability to come back at you, okay? So if, if you have somebody that did attack you in an MMA fashion, which they teach, they love this technique here where they come around and they go low to the legs. Now, they're not going to grab you in a bear hug, okay? Bear hug is, the, this is what we call the bear hug. They're not going to do this, okay? Because what they want is they want to come in low Come in, let me show you. So let me do it to them, to you, Jeff. I'm not going to take you down. Come in a little closer, okay? What they want to do is they want to come up here, drop low, and take your legs out and take you down, okay? So there are, there are several things that you can do with that, okay? The first thing you have to do is, uh, again, they're not going to do it from here. They're going to need a little bit of distance because they want to bring their head down. They want to bring their arms around, around your legs. So the first thing you want to do is, is be able to ground yourself. This is not a good stance. This is a good fighting stance if I'm, if I'm doing the attacking or the defending myself against a punch or a kick, but this is not a good stance, okay, when somebody's coming at your legs. So the first thing you want to do, uh, we'll go slow, is come into the legs, is, go ahead, Jeff, okay, and it is, it is step back so that you can, so you get a little bit better grounding. Now, here's where the timing comes in, okay? The chances are that if they come at you like that, they're going to come fast, and they're going to probably have trained unless they've been watching too much, too many television um, uh, bouts on TV, or, you know, the MMA or the UFC. The technique for this is this. They come in, go ahead, Jeff, and you, and you, and you, deflect, you deflect it. Now, that again takes timing. That takes real time because they're going to come in fast. Go it faster. Okay? I, I, I got to stop him so he doesn't go flying into, <laughs> into the screen. Now, the technique is this. Okay? I'm going to show it slow. Go ahead. You, you, you step back, you ground, you de deflect this, right? And then, and then you just take them out, okay? Which is, which again, again is a very advanced technique, all right? So what I did is I came in, I deflected, okay? I stepped forward because I can't, st I don't want to stay in front of him. And again, this comes with training. This comes with training because if I stay in front of him and I try to hit him like this, I'm off balance. My weight is in front of him. These are all the things that you learn when you study with us. My weight is in front of him. My weight, in order to be able to get my weight to hit him, I gotta, I, my weight has to be behind him. So I need to I, come in. I need to block, step, and I'm here. Okay, I'm here, and I can take him down easily because I never let him ground, and I took him off balance. Now, let's assume, I got a few more minutes, let's assume that he does take me down. I'm not going to let Jeff take me down, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's assume that he did take me down. So if he took me down, then again, he's going to be on your legs. What is, what's free? What's free? This is not allowed in the ring, but if somebody's going to come at you, and they're going to do something like that to you, then, you, you know, this is, this is the real deal. This is not something, you know, this is, this is real. This is really happening. So your options are this. Your hands are free. People say go to the eyes. That's a, to me, that's a ridiculous thing. Why? Go to the eyes because why? Because we're in motion. Realistically, okay, we're in motion. The eyes are this big, this big. So when you're in motion and, and, and somebody's wrestling on the ground, to be able to get to that spot is a very, very difficult thing. What's the vulnerable areas of the body is the throat, okay, okay, and the ears, all right? Here, it's right here. Boom. Now, not that I want to do that, 
But th these, the, you know, again, again, when I teach SWAT teams, I've, I've worked with the, you know, the FBI SWAT teams, and when I teach them the, these techniques, I mean, it's, it's life and death for them. When a SWAT team goes in or an FBI agent goes in, okay, they, have, they, they go in for an arrest. They know who they're after. They've been investigating that individual for a number of years, and they know what, you know, this is, this is a dangerous person when they, when, they, when they go in with something like that. So there are different things that I have to show them that could potentially save their life because the agents have lost their life because of, of, of multiple attacks, you know, which is why we don't like wrestling on the ground if we don't have to. But again, again, the movement is the guy comes in low, I step back, I hear boom. Now your option is that time I hit Jeff because the option is to be able to strike or to, or to take them down because if I just take Jeff down, okay, which I can easily do, I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. All I've done is take Jeff down and, and at that point, okay, at that point, he still can get up. So, you know, again, we, we, we give you the options, okay, of what you can do. But those options are only available to you again if you train. And I just want to reiterate that what I'm doing here is I'm showing you what's available to you, not something that you could really do without training. So the guy comes in quick, boom, bang, bang, and I, and I take him. So it's step back, ground yourself, switch, and then step forward. When I, when I go to get him, I step forward with that technique. So that's one of the best defense. Now, if a guy's coming at you from a distance, you know, no one's going to come from this distance and, and put their head down. They're going, to be, they're going to be here, and they're going to drop it here. How do I know this? I've been fighting my whole life. I fought competitively in the ring. I grew up in the projects as a kid. So in order to know, really know, um, what the fight is and what can be done and where the body goes when you, you know, where you block it, when you hit it, then you have to have been there. You really do. I mean, you have to have been there. And you, and you just kind of hope that, you know, you never had to have that, have that happen to you. But growing up in the neighborhoods that I grew up in, you know, it was, it was constant bullying and it was constant defending yourself of constantly getting, you know, uh, beat up as a kid, which, which happened to me. I mean, I only started learning how to fight when I was 16 years old, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, just about 16 years old when I, learned, when I started boxing because I was, you know, I was getting bullied a lot. And, getting attacked and I was getting a little older and I was even more of a target out there. So, you know, it, it's just something that's, that's necessary, especially in today's world. So again, to reiterate, okay, again, if somebody comes from this distance, okay, okay, if, if say you came from this distance, all right, no one's gonna come at your legs from here. Go ahead, Jeff, boom. Okay, <laughs> you're right there, all right? Can I kick to the head? Yeah, it's easy to kick to the head, okay? But the higher you lift that leg, the more vulnerable you are. And remember, this: when you kick to the leg, I got a few more minutes, when you kick to the, when you lift your leg really high, two things happen. One, okay, you have a very difficult time getting it back. Two, their force, nobody's gonna stand there. Like, kicking a bag is great, but the bag is hung, it's dead weight. This person's coming at me, so unless I know how to properly throw my weight forward, forward at a kick, Chance, when I lift my leg up and I throw it high, I'm going to get knocked over because his weight's coming at me. So most people don't, don't kick properly. I've seen advanced martial, degreed martial artists still kicking like this. Their body goes back. I just looked at Black Belt Magazine. I saw this guy on the cover, and he's kicking like this at a guy coming back. He's leaning back. So let, let me explain what that means, okay? I'm throwing my leg in one direction, and I'm throwing all my body weight in the other. The key to effective technique is to be able, whatever you throw, whatever you kick with, whatever you hit with, that your body weight comes into it. So if you lean back, which you normally do because you're, getting, you're trying to get your leg off the ground, that's what's happening here. So people will automatically do this because the brain, okay, will be, always want the least resistance. They'll always work that way. So there's so much to it, but I, I enjoy teaching these techniques. I'm going to be putting stuff on YouTube and, uh, and Facebook and Thank you so much for, for joining me, and I look forward to next, next time I see you.